Yeah, so here we are in Half Moon Bay, California, right by Mavericks, famous surf spot. So we're still in Half Moon Bay, going to attack Korea right now to get some food. It's open for takeout, Trace Amigos. Uh, the interesting thing about this place is it's owned by a former Mexican, uh, famous, former famous Mexican soap opera star. And he also makes a tequila called Don Pilar. Probably we only get one fork. Yeah, like, just drove by. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help laugh. <laughs> I feel like we're slowly coming out of the lockdown, just based on this trip. No. I don't even think it's about who's positive, who's negative. I think it's about who's in the fucking hospital and dying. That's, that's the bottom line. So, what, we, yeah. if all those people from the protest go home and, um, and infect people, that are vulnerable and they end up in the hospital in two weeks, that's when mm -hmm. we're gonna know, right? That's when we'll know. It's like, why is there a second wave? Just because it gets cold? Why are there waves in the flu? I don't know. I don't know either. But the thing is, here, okay, here's an interesting point. When they locked San Francisco down, we had like, a bit wrong, but I'm in, in, the, in the margin of error, like 12 infections, total, zero deaths. When they locked it down. When they locked it down. Right now we have, I think like, something like around 50 deaths and like 2,800 of current lives infected. So, what's the sense of locking it down when we have 12 infections and then opening it back up when we have 2,300? And then on top of it, that's what I don't understand. That's what I understand. And on top of it, like, are we more bot wise to it because we're wearing masks? So from this yeah. to this to this. You know, maybe back here and then go. And then, you know, everybody's talking, everybody's yelling, everybody's very close to each other. So, I mean, basically eating out is, um, you're always taking a risk. Well, but good thing I'm taking hydrochloroquine. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I packing right now? Well, that's because I'm about to fly to Rochester, New York. I break my life down into three parts. The first part is I grew up outside of Moscow, Russia, uh, until I was about 12 years old, and then we immigrated to America. Uh, and then for the last 15 years, I've been living in San Francisco, Bay Area. Uh, and then in the middle is where I actually spent the more years of my life than anywhere else, is a town called Rochester, New York. It's on Lake Ontario. Uh, basically, my mom's still there, so I'm going there for a visit. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, that little intro there. It was my boy Jason and I uh, chilling in uh, Half Moon Bay for a day. It was fun. Is, is it time to leave San Francisco? I do feel like I've hit a wall here, and I've had a great time here. I've been here 15 years. Uh, my daughter's grown up here. She's only uh, 16 and a half, so she's lived 90% of her life here. Uh, but it, as sad as it is, I am kind of 70-30 um, on whether I move or not, and I am leaning towards moving away just because it is gonna be more cost effective. Letting go mentally is gonna be the hardest part because this place is so beautiful and so captivating. The, the, how diverse it is, it's, it's something that I will greatly miss if I do ultimately decide to. But, um, you know, every once in a while you just gotta hit, gotta hit the reset button and I feel like uh, that's kinda of where I'm at. So, I'm gonna probably do it. Just, uh, looking for some direction in my life and possibly a new opportunity. And I figured Rochester is a good logical place to move to just because the, the cost of living there is a lot less. 
Um, granted, there's not as many opportunities to make a trillion dollars, but you can make a comfortable living there and, uh, and you can buy a nice house for a very affordable price. And I do have this place here, which I can either rent or sell, which I'm fortunate to have and I'm very thankful for that. So basically this trip is about not only uh, seeing my mom and also my girlfriend and my daughter to show them around and to go to the Thousand Islands of course, which I'm super excited about. Uh, but it's also about you know lo looking for a possible new place to live. So I guess the next time I see you, we'll be uh, traveling through the airport during coronavirus, which should be pretty interesting. And then going from there, um, I'll show you the Thousand Islands, which is, uh, there's not a lot of videos out on that, and not a lot of people, especially here, know about that place, so that should be cool. So I'm kind of looking forward to it, and it'll just be nice to get away and disconnect from all the shit that's going on. Not Obviously, it's going on in the whole country, but it'll just be nice to disconnect, see my mom, see some of my old friends. Hopefully, it is still a pandemic going on. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting out of there. Not looking forward to traveling, but I am looking forward to uh, getting away, seeing some different scenery, and just uh, kind of resetting my mind, so to speak. So I guess I'll see you in Rochester.